Hello and welcome to the fourth installment of the Mac Basics 101 tutorial series here at Apple Byte. Today we'll be talking about the organization of the Mac, Mac OS, uh, more specifically the file structure of how the computer is set up. And understanding this concept can help you navigate through the computer and it can really prevent losing a lot of information, losing your files because you know where to look and where to find them. Uh, a lot of people will lose files because they're placing them in the wrong places. And so understanding where they go, where the files are organized, can help. So to start off with, I prepared a little diagram here of the Mac file structure. And it is somewhat of a, a hierarchy in terms of permissions and authorization. That's how the operating system is set up. And here at the very top, the location with the highest authority or permission is your root. Your root drive, this is basically the top level of the hard drive and everything stems down from there. Uh, inside the root we have four major folders here, applications, library system, and users. And then there's also a host of hidden folders that are by default hidden. Um, they don't want people messing around in there for good reason and so you can ignore those folders. And in fact, the average user can ignore these folders as well, system and library. These house a lot of the back-end files for applications and settings and preferences and things that you don't need to be tinkering with and it is highly recommended that you don't tinker with them because it can really mess up your computer. Over here though is the system applications, the ap applications that are available system-wide. So in any user account, usually when you install a program or an application, it'll install into this folder, that's where you have chess, <laughs> and all the rest of your applications usually. You can have user-specific applications, but in general applications will be installed and placed into this, this folder here. But for the most part, most of your time will be spent in the users folder. And in the users folder, by default, is a shared folder, which is usually empty. Um, this can help facilitate exchanging files in between user accounts. Then there's a guest account as well. And this is important to note in the guest account, the computer does not save anything that is done in a guest account. It is basically an account without any permission or authorization. And so you can create a document and save it. And as soon as you log out, that file is gone. It will not save. And so it is important to recognize if you are in the guest account. And then there are your user accounts. You may have multiple user accounts. You may just have one. Um, but in by default, in every user account, you'll have your user-specific applications. These would be applications that are only accessible to a specific user. Your desktop documents, downloads, movies, music, pictures. These are these are all folders that are specific to you. They're your personal files, your personal information um, that you put on your computer. And here in public, that is just a place you can put your files that can be accessed from any user account. It's public to all of your user accounts on your computer. And then there's one other major folder in your user account, which is by default hidden, and it is also a library folder. And so a lot of times with troubleshooting, uh, when I go over troubleshooting tips, a lot of the troubleshooting will come into your library folders, either this one or this one. And it's important to determine if an issue is system-wide, then it would be in the library system library folder, or here. And if it is just in one user account, it'll be here. So there are three different library folders. It's important to note that. Um, but like I said, by default, this one is hidden, and it is a little harder to access. But let's go ahead and open up a Finder window just to, to visually see what we're talking about here. So right here we're at, this is my hard drive. I'm at the root folder right now and you can see like I have laid out, I have applications, library, system, and users, these four folders. And if I open up my applications, there are all my applications, there enough, sure enough is chess. 
and all the rest of the applications. Um, but let's take a look at the users folder and as I have laid out here, um, and as I have laid out here, we have a guest account. Here is my account that I'm currently in. You can tell because there is a house there, indicating that is my home folder. And then the shared, and then this is a second user account that I have set up. And so, like I said, this is the home folder, essentially. These are all of your personal uh, files, applications, desktop documents, etc. all those that I have outlined here. I also have a couple extra folders because of the applications that I use. Um, but then if you, you know, like always, if you look in your documents, there's your documents. If you look inside your pictures, there's all your pictures that you have. Um, it's important to note these are the same folders that exist over here on your sidebar. And so that is the organization. When we're looking at this, we're looking at the folders in your home folder that are specific to your user account. So that is a quick wrap up of the Mac file structure. Most of your time on the Mac will be spent in this area right here, specific to your user account. Um, this is where you spend your, your daily interactions with the computer are in this little box. But it's important to understand that there are different elements to the computer, to the operating system, and it's important to understand where they rest, especially when you come into issues with uh, file permissions. This helps you understand where those permissions would be. And so thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave a like on this video and leave a comment below what you'd like to see in this tutorial series. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more Mac related videos, tips and tricks. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.